The key to sharpness is ensuring that both sides of the bevel are meeting at an apex, and that there's no flat spots along the length of the edge. Since this is so minute, you would need a microscope to be able to see it. One method of being able to find that apex is by creating a burr. A burr is a bit of metal that hangs over at the top of the edge while sharpening, and it ensures that the stone is reaching all the way up to the apex of the blade. The first time you sharpen on a wicked edge, you're going to have to rebuild your bevels. To do this, we're going to use the marker and run it down the length of the blade, and then we're going to do alternating strokes to remove this marker. This ensures that the stone is hitting evenly down the length of the blade and it taking out any inconsistencies down the length. The first time you're sharpening a knife, the process might take a little while, but that's only the first time per knife. After that, touch-ups should be a lot quicker. Now I'm going to do 10 strokes on one side to create the burr. Now that I've done 10 strokes, I'm going to use my fingernail to go up on the very top of the edge, and making sure I go up, I'm going to feel for a burr. And a burr is a bit of a catch at the very top of the edge. Okay, I have a bit right here, but I still need to focus here. Now I'm going to go on to the other side of the knife and do the same steps, 10 strokes, and check on the other side. The reason for this is in so I don't move the bevel off the center. If I focus on just one side, it'll move it over. Okay, now I'm going to check for the burr on this side. There's a nice burr. Now I need to complete on the left side of the knife. Okay, now that we've created a burr on both sides of the blade, we've confirmed that the bevels are meeting at the apex of the edge. Now we just need to refine it to create a wicked sharp knife. 